What's up everybody? How are you guys doing? Man, I'm so excited to be here once again. It's another week, another fresh tea right here from the freshest brews. <laughs> from the freshest brews you already know in 254. My name is Philin Jean and it's time for Cheat Chat, all right? Now, if you don't know all about us, we're all about entertainment and weekly gossip. We do a roundup of stories that have been making headlines throughout the week, especially um, in regards to our celebrities, all right? Now, let's meet our gang gang. I call them my co-hosts for today. They are not new to the show. You already know who they are. Uh, I'm going to start just right here, next to me. Next to me right here. I'm going to start with Bantu to go right ahead and introduce himself at Wambia, how his week has been, and then we'll get to meet Ronald, right? How are you? Okay, I'm poor. I'm good at I'm poor. Go to Sawa. Chelsea na Manchester. Mkamuwa kushare points. Maniwa kaponea. Lakini ni hivyo tu bana. Tukopoa. So sit back, relax. Wakati ndi uwe. Wakati ndi uwe. Yani wamesema Arsenal have 10 games. Na bado they are leading. Someone, let me tell you. Someone told me. The only, the only explanation in you explain what is happening with Arsenal mm. is that they sacrificed the queen. Mm. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, right? Oh. All right, let's head over to Ronald. How are you doing? What's up, what's up, Feline? You good? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ah, what's up, my people at home? You know, as usual, it's Sunday, man. And uh, kama kawaida, kama mm. We are going to have that thing. So your tea is ready and we are going to give it to you hot. Mm -hmm. Stay tuned. All right. Now, come on, come with us. We say, Tea room is officially open. Okay. Kachai. Let's have some tea. Let's sip some tea. And of course, the best tea is the one that is brewed at home. Let's start right here in Kenya in a 254. And uh, Kenyan singer Ojile Brown made a statement at the airport as to why Swahili music isn't big outside, uh, outside actually East Africa. Now, this was after his tour in the U.S. And Ojile said that Kenyan music isn't bigger in the foreign music market due to the language barrier and Swahili is not widely spoken the singer however faced a lot of backlash from some people who thought that he was being ironic since we actually knew him from swahili for him singing swahili music all right we have a video let's have a look so he debates now and maranying is you or kenya's you and alicia nini you know people know knows the truth but they don't want to our take with zungunzia ukweli ukweli ni kwamba ni luga umeneleo that's the truth Mm -hmm. The difference between our industry and Nigerian industry is the language. Na tuwezi shindana na Nigeria kwa hilo. Mana ninyibo ngapi za East Africa ziko kima taifa kikweli ambao kwamba unezenda utafumie crowd utofauti. So nyingi, umenelewa. So kitu kinachutu limit sisi kama wasani wa East Africa ni nini? Ni luga. Taka kutusua kima taifa, lazima tupinde kidogo, yani luga lazima tu, tu nini. Umenelewa. Hakuna kitu chengine, mtu sikuambia siju people are not working hard. Mana... Katika generation zote hii Kenya for the music industry, hakuna generation mbae kwa successful kama hii. So wezi, wezi, you can't bash people like that. Umenelewa. Umuona kina calligrapher na jenga majumba, umenelewa. Umuona kina baati wako, umenelewa. Generation liyo pita wako, wako kufanikio kufanya hivi. Umenelewa. So you can't just ponder people and all that, you know, it's not good. And we have to really learn how to, to love our country because we are sending a very bad, you know, narrative out there kwa sababu watu wanatuona ni kama hawa hawa vipi vichani ni hawa yani unenda old old that way yani ku ku kuaibisha watu wako hata kama wafanye vizuri sio poa so kikubwa ni lugha mtu asikudanganye kwamba ni nini wala ni nini ni lugha tu Right, and of course, shout out to Nairobi Gossip and Mungai Eve on that one. So I'm just wondering, mm -hmm. is there any truth to that? Because um, earlier today, Niliona Bien in uh, some statements saying that um, uh, Otile is actually right. Sababu, if you compare the Ngoma attempts na Wizkid, Ngoma Ilifanya, like for them to go international. And even Kanye, was it Kanye? I think it's Kanye who recognized was it? I'm not sure if it was Kanye, but he said that's like one of the biggest songs ever made. Thames and Wizkid. Everybody agrees with that. But Anasema, it went international sababu. We can actually understand what they are saying. And as much as we don't get PGN English, that is 
ni kama pigeon ni sister to english so somehow you can understand some words lakini like sabantu unasemaje kula get on unasema nini huko hiyo ni kelele ama there is some truth to that unajua acha nikwambie who is the the biggest artist in east africa right now in east africa ni diamond but in africa Ah, kuna mimba ya kizungu. Eh. I'm in love with you. Hiyo kizungu mbili. Hata kizungu mbili. Nasema ule msanii mkubwa East Africa, ngoma mingi, okay, almost ngoma zote. Ni Kiswahili. But pia yeye sasa anajaribu kuimba English. Anajaribu kwenda kuimba ni kujaribu. Na lakini watu walimjua na Kiswahili. Kuna ngoma ya Diamond na nani? Diamond ameimba na Alisha Kiss. Unaona? Yongo lakini yeye si akuimba na Alisha Kiss. Aliye aliongea mali. Hata kama aliongea vitu mbili. Aliongea vitu mbili the whole song. Ngoma mwisho mwisho ukiangalia Diamond anaimba tu Kiswahili. Mm-hmm. Na unaona anaimba na Alisha Kiss mtu mwenye ile Kiswahili. Mm-hmm. So hiyo ngoma yako ni kali kama ni kali. Ngoma unaweza sikiza ni kama hii ngoma ya Mother Tongue hii ya Kilu ya yeye mbwa sijui. Vaida. Eh. Hey. Watu watu waelewi naona wasapere wanajibamba tu. Mm-hmm. Hawaelewi nasema nini, wakamba wanajibamba. Ngoma ya fundamento sana tu kujua ni nini. Si tulijibamba tu. Mm-hmm. Hii taki 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 hiyo ya nani anaitwa nani huyu demu? Taki taki kadibi. Kadibi. Hata tujui hiyo ni nini but ngoma ile flow. Ngoma yako si lazima tusikie. Kuna ngoma tu kuna kitu unasikia unajua hii ngoma ni kali. Mimi mm-hmm. hiyo si sija side. Hiyo uitambui. Yeah. <laughs> Wamesema tukitaka kwenda international itabidi tusimbe Kiswahili all the time itabidi mm. we try we try we try we try tuweke vitu zingine <laughs> like we tuweke english here and there wamesema hata kama wanaija wanaimba kinaija mm-hmm. wana incorporate kinaija na english si tunaimba Kiswahili the whole song so mko tu hapo wala ha mna guess too, what could they be talking about unless uko na lyrics translation kwa screen so watu wanasoma subtitles so okay hebu nikuulize feeling um i think the, the malema malema was suggesting that we have like um, an african language yeah a language that uh, will bring africans together Mm-hmm. so that all of us will be able now to speak in one uh, in, 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 like in one language and right. that was swahili because he recognized swahili as the only unifying factor so what these guys are trying to tell us is what we are supposed to do we are supposed to do english so that we can be recognized internationally but which i will differ with one calligraph does a lot of english in fact he is now the biggest rapper in africa right mm-hmm. and uh, he's really gone far with that english but the thing is swahili will still be our native language for essence uh whiskey d- w- what is the w- what tens exactly mm-hmm. now this these guys will be able to sing in the pidgin english and also incorporate uh the, the 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 real english that we know at the end of the day what are we trying to convey the message right kama si diamond and zimba na kiswahili alafu nyi muskie sisi tuimbe na english bado muskie the message still remains the same So I don't see where, where Otile Brown is telling us right now oh manze unajua tunaimba na Kiswahili that's why we are not going international. Otile Brown that's an excuse and I think Otile is trying to compose a new song. So ni kiki. No, but you know na ametoka maju and he's been in, in a tour in the US so probably the advice he got from there because <laughs> from the Kenyans in um in diaspora see he's been to, he toured for a long time I think One month. Uh, a month I think yeah. right Nasema ni kwa yake ya kwanza ama amekuwa akitua Na yeye anaweza kumtenza na jiba kienda tano Kwa la ujinga Wewe unajua amekuwa akitua Unaweza kumkaa Unaweza Amerudi na kiburi. Ah, kiburi na wewe ni tu ya kwanza. Feeling. Wacha unasema hapo manager yake alisema sasa hii for him to book any gig I think outside Kenya lazima ataenda na private jet. To book him a private jet. Hakuna mambo ya kwenda tu oh, first class, business class, nothing. Book uh book, get him a private jet. Sasa unataka kusema pia wewe ni kiburi ya tu. No feeling wewe kumbuka visa. <laughs> <laughs> There's a time Otile Brown I'll comment I might I think there was something that happened mm-hmm. someone pulled his uh, his songs off uh, YouTube. of YouTube. Will this kill kizungu? Otile Brown akona ongea. Yeah, uh, you uh, may I got to go, you know, we are now doing this thing. 
Kutile brown is. Kama diamond, then he's on get English brown. Diamond. Broken. I don't get broken. I don't get English broken. Scare, 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 scare. No, 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 no. You watched his reality. Ni mama, ni one. It's just one thing, one thing. Ni kitu moja. But say diamond and I learn English. I learn with. He does. In fact, diamond na harmonize. He said he went to school. He's been doing. Okay, apa ko harmonize lab da. But diamond is really good. Okay, actually right now. Kama diamond ni ameso. And then unajua, what I know is, in, in Tanzania, English is always um, uh, taught in Swahili. English is taught in Swahili? Yes. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's why Kizungu na unahina kwa ngumu kwao. They can't do it. But me, kitu nasema ni, first, unajua ngoma ikona meaning mingi. Kuna mtu anataka to deliver message, kuna mtu anataka ku entertain. Like ukisikiza dance hall, usingoje message. So, we, you don't have a dance hall, you don't have a message, you are at the wrong place. That's why it's called dance hall. Yeah, you have to have a lot of entertainment and a lot of pass. If you have a lot of people, 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 but if you have a lot of people, you have a dance, you have a lot of people. We have a lot of people, you 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 have a lot of people. Ina depend wa ngoma ni ngoma but inategemea ngoma yako essence ya ngoma ni entertainment ama ni message unapasa. No but okay. remember also Saudi Soul have done a lot of music in Swahili and they are still international. So the history ya oh wame perform lazizi yeah, lazizi, lazizi, exactly. lazizi in English. So Otile Brown kanyanya nevi munatuletea ni what is the brown mazee's excuses? If you can't do good music, mazee chana na. You never end up at a bond or nothing. Yeah, you never end up at a level. If you can't do good music, yeah. We're talking about like, do you know he's like um the most streamed artist right now on Spotify? Yeah, yeah, he's an incubator. Yeah, that's a fact. So, but we see answer to change. You ain't incubator. I'm not incubator. Kizu. 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 Unaona sisi tunatambua wasani wanaimba lugha tunaelewa wasani wa shen pigeni shenyenye mtaa. Unaje okay, the thing is feeling also if you look at how hip hop uh, was evolving. But you sing hip hop and you sing in English. Yeah yeah yeah. Uh, Ama una rap ingine Kiswahili si jesikie hiyo ngoma. Who Ronald? I'm talking about him. He's a rapper na yeye rap na English. Yes I know my Kiswahili. No, I normally mix. I do both Swahili and English. So I will I will try and balance my audience, the audience who will be able to uh, listen to Swahili part of it, and also my international audience. <laughs> so, <laughs> at the end of the day, is your target people who you want to convey the message is. Kunazile okay. mangoma entertainment. If you want to pass a message through uh, entertainment, that means you have to do what? You have to do Swahili or English. Okay. I hear you. What do you guys think? Talk to us. The hashtag is a chit chat. That's on, on Facebook, Instagram. Actually, I think Red, today we're just on Facebook. So you can talk to us on Facebook. We have a post. Go comment below. Let us know where you're watching from. And various contributions to topics we are talking about today. I love you. I love you. I At the end of the show, I love you. I love you. And with that note, let's move on to another story. And a viral video of a police officer making a scene at the bank in Kenya has been making rounds on social media. Now, the armed officer could be seen demanding for his phone from his colleague and going around the bank kicking and hitting stuff. Now, it is reported that the officer, who allegedly goes by the name Kevin Otier, Yalo was deployed for bank security duties but was under the influence of alcohol during the incidents. Now the matter was reported to CIPU Commander Nakuru East and the officer arrested then later escorted to Nakuru Police Station for professional misconduct. Conduct, right now, the National Police Unit, through their Twitter page, uh, condemned the incident, noting that the matter is being handled uh, administratively. Let's have a look at the video. Do you want mic?
Right, so um, uh, there you go. When say it, it, that incident actually happened in Nakuru. When I first saw it, bro, me was thinking, Mimi nge kwa kwa bank. Yani, usho na ile nye, unatokanga ke uliko unenda kuinge, unanza kurudirivas, kidogo, kifika kwa mlango, unatoka mbio. That is what I would have done. Because I can't imagine mse akia kwa hiyo state na kona gun. Kitu tu kidogo hivyo kimuambia ineza mset off. Trigger. But, yeah, you can actually trigger him. But um, uh, some people are saying it could be like some mental thing he's dealing with. But kuna ingine wanasema... Uh, Anaeza kuwa, inaeza kana, he was drunk, probably. I don't know. But the police, uh, the National Police Unit have actually condemned, condemned, condemned the incident. Akasema, they actually, uh, he was actually arrested. So, they're dealing with that. Do you, do you, know, do you know why Makarao wa Kenya tunashina ngatu mwa blame? Because mm -hmm. qualifications. Mm -hmm. Za kukua karao Kenya. <laughs> hey, man, qualifications tu zina tuangusha. Meno. <laughs> Sometimes kitu wanasawa kupima ya maana ni akili. Mm -hmm. Kuna watu wa yuko normal, lakini ni warefu na wakona hizo vitu zote. <laughs> Alafu munaena muna wapea bunduki. What do you expect? Ndi unona hizi incident zinatokea. Sometimes inafaa pia wanatafuta zile machine za kupima brains waone kama wasi wako sawa au polisi wengine wako wangi poa that's why unaona polisi anaweza do anything no let me ask you do you mm. think it's not like at wako poa ama it's because of the job they do let let me say for an example unfortunately someone maybe was murdered or something happened someone died nani wao wenda kuchukua mwili ni karau siyo nani wamefanya nini students are rioting wa karau ndo wanaenda kwa wanapigwa mawe like i think they just go through a lot at some point it takes a toll on them don't you Okay. Think so? Kalin, let me just come in. Um, I think that, that there is something that is happening with our disciplined forces. And uh, today morning I also had um, one shot, two colleagues. I think it was in uh, one of the north, uh, northeastern countries, mm -hmm. uh, county, sorry. So um, it's something that is going on. I think the police or our disciplined forces are supposed to undergo a little bit of some counseling. Mm -hmm. These people are depressed, they're stressed. Number one, if you look at even that, uh, the, this clip that we are talking about, this guy was trying, he's just trying to relieve some stress out of him. One, the phone was taken from him, and we don't know who took it, maybe the wife or someone, and uh, he feels that it's going to reveal a lot. So the only way to remove that frustration is by hitting things. And you know how human, um, human psychology works. Mm -hmm. If you try to relieve stress through uh, maybe sitting down and being calm, you're going, to be, it is, you're going to explode. So the only way is you become rowdy and hit anything that is uh, next to you. So my, uh, my wait. That's the only way to relieve stress. You kick stuff. That's how you deal with stress. Yes. You um, kick things. In 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 Italy, for <laughs> essence, una ingi zungo kwa rumi yenye kona ma TV zile mze unaona ma radio mze alafu na patio kila kibat una jio bat. Yeah. Jio bat una ingi zonda ni una fungiwa. Sasa una gonga kila kitu pe ni una taka. Ogitoka apo stress is over. So that. So uh, uh, how did you? We we nenda kugonga ni neto ni ni. Ile stuff ya kupiga gym ya boxing. That's what you do, the punching bag. Exactly. Unaona hiyo stress uko nayo? Unaifunga ngatu ndani hiyo hewa, unaifungia kwa mdomo, you zip it, ukishafika tu gym hivi. Bas, unaiachilia. Una release. Yeah. Chumba. Right. Now that is one way of looking at it. And what if just what if um the story is going around that he was drunk? What if that is actually true? What if alikuwa um levy Na kwenye al alikuwa mlevi alafa kwenye job na kona gun. Maybe that's why alikuwa na kosi yake okay, kosi yote. So hapo sunajua na fatu blame government. How? Why? Bona bona ni kama wana measures. Ukipita uku ghetto, mm -hmm. unakutanga makarao wako kwa klabu wana kunywa. Mm -hmm. No. Wako na wako na bunde. Wako na bunde na wameka mm -hmm. tu kwa klabu na wase wana kunywa. Wana pigariba na majama hapo. Mm -hmm. That's wrong. Lakisa nani ya utastaki polisi kwa nani? Hakuna wana, that's the problem. Polisi na mustaki kwa nani? Utana police station. Nani na video corporate. Ukienda kama kuna maani ni, wana hitu haji. I'm sure you can tweet at DCI. You can probably take a photo. Kama wamini gava, utamini haji yo tweet. Let me tell you something. Another thing. Uko mtani kuna mapedi. Unakuta karao ndi ya naenda kutafuta pedi. Ukithani ya na mtafuta wa mshike, karao ndi ya na? Anatekazake. <laughs> 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 <laugh
Okay, Lynn. That is a... Mm? I think you also, you, uh, let us look at it from another angle. Right. These guys are very stressed in that. Have you ever seen their living conditions? Have you seen someone carry a, a, a very big gun, walking on sun, and a jakula kitu yote, ah, seo mechoka. Ata, muizi tu watokele zetu mbio. Watangale tu muizi oseme, na umu siyako na mbio, and that is it. It's because <laughs> the lifestyle these people are living is... Because they are tired, they are hungry. Yeah, it's because uh, these people, if you look at their living conditions and also the, 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 the amount they are, they are being paid in terms of salary, mm -hmm. it, it just needs um, like a government innovation so that they can have a good life. Well, do, speaking of that, Bantu, do you think we need to appreciate our police mom? Given that we um, want to control traffic, like in terms of that because most people do not like police watu wengi wanachukia karao sana kwa nanga tukarao karao kikuja hivi mtu anapita hivi hotaki mpatane so do you think we need to appreciate them mtu akipoteza fare ukipoteza simu naambia karao bro mimi nimepoteza simu sina fare kwenda home sina you know like we always take our problems to them, but no one ever probably listens to them. Do you think we need to be also considerate of how they are also feeling because they are human, maybe? Okay, unajua ni kwa nini? Our police wamechoma picha. Yani vibaa zahana, design hata wezi wa urumia. We mwenye unangalia umeka kwa gari, karawa naitisha tu hongo dere. Hapo tu na umeka. Unajua sikuizi wanaogopa mtu wa suti. Ukikaa na mso wa suti wanadhani huni mso. Wakiona kama mtu kama minyo ele meka hivi. Mm. Awa ogopi wanakamu kama umetisha hongo direct. Jiwa lona huni hasila wa mtani. Mm -hmm. Uwe mtu wanaidisha hongo ukiangalia hivi. Utampelekea nini umuambie ni kona shida. <laughs> Sayu ukienda, ukienda police station ukiokota pesa. Uwele useme hey, ofisa ni meokota pesa fulani pale siju ni zanani. Wanakuchapa kwanza wani mjinga kwani una shida. Like, so like for real, what country is this? Unaangalia unaona. Police yana no usiku kitembea, mtu uomba ni kutane na wezi kuliko polisi. Kwa mm. unaona ni na, na, na polisi, ni kama ni muizi. Unatoka hapi saa hii, leta ID, leta nini, leta nini, ukona pesa ngapi. Na muizi yata niambia ukona nini, so unaona ni wezi wawili. Ukutana na muizi na polisi yao umekutana na wezi. So unaona like, polisi walisha choma. Hakuna venye watasafisha rada, polisi si rafiki ya mse. Okay. Yeah. I don't know what you guys think. Keep talking to us. Hashtag Nyo Moja Chichat, right? Talk to us. We are on um, Facebook as YT54. All right. So um, we're going to take the last story. Okay. We we'll, we'll actually take a break, right? I think we take a break, then come back yeah. and tackle the next story. No Let's take a short, 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 short breather. We're going to be right back. Y254. Imagine. Right. <laughs> Thank you so much for staying with us. If you're joining us right now, you are watching Chit Chat right here on Y254 TV, your favorite youth channel. I go by Philin Jean, and that is on all socials. And of course, I'm hanging out with Ernest Bantu and Ronald Royce. Keep talking to us on our socials at Y254, and we'll have a look at your you know comments at the end of the show right now let's move on to another story and there's a group of uh, men who are seen flaunting money and expensive alcohol in the club recent, recently now the viral video shows them washing their phones and and money with alcohol something that has uh, <laughs> the internet talking with the trawlers asking if that is what is meant when people talk about you know money no, okay cleaning dirty money <laughs> <laughs> Kosha pesa, you know, Kosha pesa. In the wash wash, Ama? In the wash wash. Ay, look, look at that. Ay, yeah, yeah,
sasa simu na hiyo pesa zimekosa nini ndio ziosho hivyo na jameni kwani ni hiyo bragi we hiyo ni bragi bragging rights eh wako na bragging rights wana zaringa Oh yeah, una vile ni wayang. Is it like mimi sidhani pesa yenye nimefanya kazi hapa working on a Sunday. Unasikia that hard and money. Niende nianze kuosha. Ndio kidogo tu ikataa kufanya. I don't think I, I'm, I'm willing to take that risk. Sasa hizo ni vitu, hizo ni vitu maboy. Maboy wako simia 20,000 years. Wanafanya kufurahisha madem. No, na azini kuonyesha madem tuko na do tunaweza tupa do tunaweza fanya nini alafu at the end of the day wewe wewe tu mse umeona hapo utasikia tu feel uko na dawa ni okolenda wewe una shindo rada i don't think i would i would like siko baya like chachisha video ni ya kuchachisha but in the real life yo jamaa ko na ngori zingine kwa ground ni different sana sasa mtu kama huyo pia god anaona Mm-hmm. Utakosa pesa kicha ukweli utakosa do. Atakumbuka. <laughs> eh utakumbuka hiyo do hiyo simu ulikuwa na nini? Watu wanatumia watu wanaomba simu wapate wewe una Imagine Bantu. Mm. Mm-hmm. Kule mtaani unajua pengine wao ni maboy wa mabombe. Mm-hmm. Na huko unajua they always flaunt money flaunt anything the way they want because it's there. Just the same way feeling as put it. Unajua easy come easy go. At the end of the day ile pesa you are hard and cash is supposed to be protected very well because you need to invest it somewhere else in reserve ingine but no jo when you got my story this is now the real wash wash the money that comes very easy unaenda kuosha when unataka because you don't care where it goes so at the end of the day e pesa huko ifanyia you never sweat for it it'll come to when it'll come ukiangalia when you wanaosha all those um those big phones with the big brands kule mtaani mzee changa ya 10 kale ka changa ya 10 hata mazika huwezi taka ku speed ikimwagika wewe unajua wale vipombe kimwagika is a problem is a problem and they just you know but anyway ah naosha nao mikono niona bro yani let me tell you kenyans siko baya kenyans really 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 love alcohol i'm not even lying Recently there was uh, one supermarket a famous supermarket in the announced pombe ya mia moja watu walishinda kwa laini for hours <laughs> hours <laughs> hours <laughs> you know wanasema pombe na toa stress just wait na kila mkenya sasa hivi anasema ko na stress so what do you expect no feeling we actually i think we had a video of that uh, that place we were talking about then when it comes to alcohol people cannot <laughs> people cannot even contain themselves i can't even imagine ngoma za nini ngoma za pombe venye zime heat unaona kila mtu ana pombe look at that all of us walikuwa wanapigania pombe this is alcohol sio chakula watu wako huko wanapigana sababu ya pombe yenye imeambiwa imesemekana ni ya 100 and a hundred is just one can it's not like the whole thing ah ah huyo i think alipata mingi ameona nenda hapi na hiyo huyo